President Obama will meet today with some of the country's brightest young minds. They are in Washington for the Intel Science Talent Search. Forty high school seniors vied for a $150,000 top prize for their experiments and discoveries. Ron Andrews shows us how their contributions could be invaluable. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... With more than a million dollars in cash awards on the line and with 40 finalists in formal wear awaiting the judges' decisions, it looked like the last round of a reality show competition, and in a way, it was. Except that the finalists on this stage are not singers, they are scientists, America's very best high school scientists. 17-year-old Andrew Jin of California won a $150,000 award for a method he developed to scan DNA for genetic mutations, including the genetic source of deadly diseases. Hepatitis or influenza or even HIV. So the first application might be an infectious disease? Yeah, definitely an infectious disease. I investigated how this works. For years, studies have shown that American teenagers lag behind students in other countries in science and in math. But that is an average. These are America's elites. Almost every one of these finalists has invented a breakthrough idea. In the plants that express this protein. Kalia Firester developed a tomato plant that's resistant to pests. This whole procedure. Jesse Zhang found a new way to predict the polar vortex. You got it. 17-year-old Kriti Lal invented a kit that removes arsenic from water, which poisons almost 140 million people every year. In terms of, you know, saving people's lives and improving the quality of life, I think it really has huge implications, and I'm really excited about that. The competition and all this pageantry is part of the annual Science Talent Search, which for 17 years has been sponsored by the Intel Corporation. Intel's president, Renee James, says she was amazed at this year's level of innovation. What does it make you think about the future? It makes me hopeful. These kids are thinking about things, not just little science projects, they're thinking about global issues and solving environmental and medical and, I mean, big world kinds of things. On any other day, these students are teenagers, high school kids involved in sports teams, concerts and student government. But on this special night, they trade textbooks for tuxedos, experiments for evening gowns, and are recognized for their research and ideas. America's got talent, all right, in the form of a generation that will reinvent everything. For CBS This Morning, Wyatt Andrews, Washington. I think this is so great because it popularizes science. Yeah. And yeah. it's an incentive for these young kids to go find, fall in love with science and research. Absolutely. And they're so smart, Charlie, exactly. at such a young yeah. age. Yeah. It's great to see. Way for an Intel to yeah. really sponsor this mm -hmm. and... Yeah, get make, the attention that they deserve. Make science as important as sports and entertainment. And attractive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.